Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to talk to you about 27, a website that lets you watch streaming videos with a friend or group of friends, even while you're apart. As my hometown of Melbourne heads into another five-day lockdown due to COVID-19, I thought this one might be fun to get a group of friends together online and watch a movie or TV show together. Up front, I want to say that all parties need access to the streaming service for themselves. For YouTube, Vimeo and other free sites, that's not a problem. If it's Netflix, Amazon or HBO in participating countries, everyone will need paid access. Hulu, Disney Plus and the ability to share your screen requires an investment in 27 itself. They have a Patreon account and for a COVID special of $3 per month that looks like Australian dollars because it mentions GST, so $3.30 per month, you can access the patron-only options. There's also a $5 discount if you pay annually. It's cheap, really, for a night of sharing a movie with someone you can't physically be in the room with. There are other plans available with more features and higher monthly fees. To get started, head to TWOSEVEN dot xyz or xyz depending on where you're from and click the sign up button i signed in with the google option because i like single sign on and did an episode about it up here it just makes life easier once you log in the home screen only has a relatively few options on it the first option i want to talk you through is installing the chrome extension it's worth noting that this site only works on a desktop using chrome or firefox i'm guessing there's a firefox extension as well it doesn't work on mobile. Everything's easier if you install the Chrome extension. I've actually done an episode on Google Chrome extensions that you can see up here. It's pretty old now, but still covers everything that's accurate, I believe. Once the extension's installed, refresh the page and it's time to add some friends. On the right side, you can add friends just by using their email address. And there's also an option to select them from your Google contacts. Add in their email address and they'll receive an email that looks like this. Then they can go through the process of signing up with 27 and they'll be added to your friends list. You can also just create a room and then share a link to that room with your friends via chat or something similar if that's what you do. Once you have some friends it's nearly time to start watching. Click the start watching button and then it's time to decide if you want webcams available and who has access to pause and restart the stream. It's great if everyone has access to do that. That way, if someone gets interrupted, needs to go to the bathroom, get another glass of wine, or make some more popcorn, they can just pause. Of course, this pauses it for everyone because you are watching it together. So try and keep the interruptions to a minimum. Too many interruptions can ruin even the best of movies. Once you're in, you get a reminder of the new $3 pricing option, and then you're in a room with a YouTube video. You can search for a video, or if you already know the URL, just paste it into the box down the bottom. If you select Netflix, you'll get this message if you're not already logged in. But once you log into your Netflix account in another tab, it will show your Netflix homepage like this. From there, you can search, select a movie from your list or your favorite TV show. The same applies to Amazon, HBO and Vimeo. We watched a movie on Vimeo that I helped make between 2007 and 2013. The viewing experience was really quite good. At one point we needed to pause and I was able to get up and do stuff, which meant my movie watching buddy was left hanging, but with some communication that was okay. The ability to chat was kind of fun, although to be honest, it might actually be better done in a different window or on a completely separate device, but it's up to your personal preferences. That's it, it's good to have the option in there. We tried out the webcam feature and had a couple of issues initially, but they were fixed when we restarted the room with the webcam option enabled. The only challenge is that the audio from the movie is picked up by the microphone and therefore relay delayed to all of the other parties. This would actually be fixed if you were wearing headphones. Overall, this was a great experience to share a show with somebody while you can't be physically together. Question of the day, can you see yourself using 2.7? Maybe it's time for a movie night tonight with your friends. Give it a shot. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. 
If you're on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click the logo down here, you can subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified of any new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.